Another volunteer, please. Here's, this is called my portable demonstrator. Uh, okay, good. Probably now this actually can demonstrate quite a few levels of control. But while he's coming up, we can talk about the situation in which they're sticking a needle in me to draw blood, and I don't do anything about it because self-preservation is that they need that blood test that's going to help. So the, over, the higher level has overridden the, uh, the reflex. All right, now this, if you hold your hand out like this, you don't let me move it. So I'm pushing hard, and he's pushing up, obviously. You can't see his hand move much, but his muscle is pulling up quite hard. All right, now that's the lowest level of control that we're going to look at. For, it involves several levels, actually. Now, when I, next time I push down, I just want you to take your hand, pull it down to your side, and pull it all the way down. Yeah. Now don't let it come back up. <laughs> right, no, come on. Just, just done. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> right from there. Uh, you saw two levels of control there, didn't you? The lower level was very fast. And it didn't understand. It didn't understand that this was a signal. And the higher level said, oh, that's a signal. But I'm supposed to change my reference position from here to here. And that takes longer. But in the meantime, the lower level system, when I pushed, it corrected the error. <laughs> it didn't know it was supposed to do anything. It's just fine. But I'm just one higher level. But obviously, it's some higher level. Another system said, ah, there's the signal I'm interested in, so let's get up and do something about it now. <laughs> and that's that long delay. And in that delay, the lower system is already active. Now that's why the levels are The lower system are very, very fast because the loops are very short. And the processing is very simple. It's just magnitudes. The magnitude of this signal should be zero. If it's not zero, hence the muscle. Very, very simple. Go to a higher level, and you have a relationship that's being controlled. It's way up there. Two relationships. But that relationship control system can't correct for disturbances very fast. It's got a long time lag. It can, it can handle that, but not quickly. So the lower system can protect the higher systems from disturbances at certain times. And that leaves the higher systems free to do the more complicated things that take longer to do. To proceed, and take longer to proceed, and take longer to carry out. So you can slower control of the higher levels. And that goes all the way through all the 11 levels. But the slowest level that I've seen with any certainty is a, a logic level. And the delay there that I measured was only about half a second. A half a second is quite long, long, long. It's about half a second. Is that the time frame that you have? Yeah, program mode. It's that, that fast. And I don't know how, if I insult you because of your ethnic heritage, that, that could be construed as a system concept, right? That might take you a second, full second. I insult you, but in a subtle way. Have, have, you, have you always been so dumb? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't even mean so dumb. I'm not dumb. That takes a little longer, but not that long. Not, not terrible. Presumably also the higher levels can set references lower down so that you can end up doing things automatically that are quite consistent with your higher level goals. Yes. You don't need to think about those goals to, to do it. Of course, the other thing you've got to realize is that the higher level is the one that tells the lower one what to want. Yeah. It tells them, make your perception look like this. That's what the reference signal is. The reference signal is like an example of the perception signal. 
but in a particular state, particularly a month of perception of state. It says, make, it, make this much of your perception, whatever it is. And the lower system is then in charge of creating that perception. So it's not a series of commands out the bottom. It's more like a series of specifications of the blueprint. You hand this blueprint to the carpenter and say, make it look like this. You don't tell them, pick up your hammer with your right hand, pick up a nail with your left hand, move over to the right by 27 feet, and hammer it in. <laughs> you don't tell people what to do like that. It's called micromanagement. <laughs> you just tell them what to want to experience. And then they take care of the rest. That's why in the method of levels, you don't tell people what to look for in themselves. You tell them, you ask them questions. And in order to answer the question, they must look at themselves to find the answer. So as to give it to you. That's why the questions are used instead of commands. The requests for information. To get that information, you have to examine yourself. If the therapist doesn't say, no, I want you to examine yourself. You just ask something of them so that in order to do it, they have to examine themselves. There's no way to get the information. Okay. I think I'm about right now.